Hey guys, it's Helen Vandenberg here of GetClientsFast.net. Working from home today, as you can see, there's my she shed. That's where I'm normally working, but it's a bit dark in there to film at the moment. Um, you'll probably also hear the crazy dog Meg in the background somewhere, and no doubt she'll make an, there you go, she'll make an entrance somewhere <laughs> to um, say hi. Anyway, just wanted to talk today. I've been talking to clients and just lots of people at the moment. A lot of people feeling very, um, scared, frankly, about the changes that are happening in our economy over here in, I was going to say in Europe, we're not in Europe anymore, um, but over here in the UK, and that has ramifications around the world. And so how do you cope when there is so much uncertainty about? Now, this could be about big government or political changes that are happening. Uh, in the economy, but it could also be things that happen at home, much closer to home. What if you lose that core client that you've been, a, a friend has just experienced this recently, a regular um, retainer client they've had month in, month out, and suddenly they're gone. What if your partner suddenly gets a new job or loses their job? All those things can cause huge uncertainty in yourself and your business and your career and what you hope to do. So I wanted to share with you a little exercise. And now this is something, um, when I had my training company years ago when we started, we did lots of stuff around personal power and influence and really getting sort of taking back control of your life and your career or business. And we did this exercise so often that I actually was pretty blase about it. So um, it's something called, and many of you will know this, but I honestly, if you haven't done it for a while and you're feeling a little bit spooked by all this change going on, then I really recommend um, get the dust off those notebooks and give it a go. So if you don't know what this, this is, this is called Stephen Covey's Circles of Influence and Concern, or as I call it, Stephen Covey's Donuts. And the reason being, I'm gonna do it with you now uh, with my notebook is that the challenge being is that when we a change is happening and it's outside of our control um, we feel like it's happening to us and it can send off all sorts of fear and trigger all sorts of responses in us so there's a really simple exercise that it's not going to change the world but it might just give you a little peace so grab a piece of paper um, I've just drawn a great big circle there and then um, draw a little bit of a smaller circle in the middle. So as you can see, that's why I call it Stephen Covey's Donuts. It's actually called Stephen Covey's Circle of Concern and, um, and Influence. Now the idea is that within any significant change, that um, what happens is that there are lots of things. Usually it's the stuff that goes on our head that really affects us, not so much the stuff that's really happening outside. So for example, um, when we were looking to move house, not this time, but a couple of times ago, um, I had got to the point um, where I really wanted to um, change what I was doing. And I was set up to launch a really huge different part of the business at the same time as trying to buy a house. And I was all set up for that. And then Paul came home and I was just about to do my fantastic speech about how we should, um, you know, perhaps change the way we were working. And he said, hmm, just been made redundant. And he came home with little, one of those lovely cardboard boxes with all your touch in it from the office. And that completely changed. It was like a bolt from the blue around, were we, um, hi Jen, good to see you. Will, would we be able to get a mortgage with that, um, with that new information? He just lost, you know, he was uh, the person in a proper job. I just had a business. So would we be able to get a mortgage? Would we, um, where would we live? Because we didn't, his, our search was currently tied to where he was working. Um, what would we be able to afford? Would I have to keep doing the, the role I was doing or could I expand the business? So all that stuff were kind of worries that were going on in my head. So what I say is get your circles or your donuts drawn out and all those worries. So if you've got a big change, that is concerning you or something that's happened, whether it's outside in the community, hey Jen, good to see you. And then on that, on your bit of paper, just jot down all the worries, maybe just a word. So for me in that situation, it would have been, um, do, am I, you know, new job for Paul? Is he gonna get a job? Is it gonna be money? Is it gonna be, um, uh, how is this gonna affect uh, our savings? Um, will it mean we can't move? All that stuff. So just jot down all the stuff that is your, Worry. So that's your circle of worries, things that are worrying you. And there is something really smart about this, just getting it down on paper 
So we know that writing stuff by hand, much better than doing it by typing, engages the left logical side of your brain. It's really hard to stay emotional and worried and frenzied when you start writing things down. So get it out, all those worries that just, and just even having that down on the paper, even some of them, if some of them feel crazy. So here in the EU referendum, we are um, concerned that we have in the UK, um, for those of us that didn't really, that we did want to remain and, and that choice seems to have gone now, um, you know, there's lots of things that we just don't know. So it will be um, what, you know, what will happen to tr my company when I, I you know, 80% of my business is abroad. What happens to that? What happens to the tax situation? What happens to travel? Is it all this kind of stuff? What's happening to the economy and, and people who've got savings or investments in pensions or companies that work abroad? All that stuff. Now, there aren't, with all that, there's no answers yet. This is the thing. You can drive yourself crazy worrying about about stuff where at the moment there is no answer so get all that stuff down get it written down and then um, there is one school of thought that school of thought that says just go and burn it but I think let's focus on taking it another step right in the middle so if this is your circle of concern or worry then right in the middle this is your circle of influence so here you might want to think about what are the things that even the smallest things that you can influence. No, we can't change the whole political system. In the situation where I was trying to buy a house, I couldn't suddenly reverse the clock and say, oh, Paul hasn't lost his job. He had at the time. But there would be some things I could do that could influence the situation. So in this bit, you jot down a few things that, sit, and you might need to coach with someone on this or just bounce the ideas with a friend, but start to focusing on what could you do to influence that situation to a positive outcome. So for example, so with, um, with uh, when I was talking earlier about the, uh, where we were trying to buy a house and Paul had lost his job and I was trying to change businesses, one of the things I could do was support him. I'd had years of helping people get jobs and improve their careers. So I could help him with his CV. I could help him uh, just support him emotionally, um, but also support him practically. I could do a budget. We could reassess our situation. We could do some planning, all that stuff. Now, when it's not you, that's all pretty simple stuff. But when it's you, you sometimes can lose the plot and focus so much on the things that are out of your control that you don't realize the power you have in the small things that you can influence. So let's look at the EU referendum. What could you do to influence these, the outcome? Well, the first thing is get clued up. So keep abreast of the news, find out um, if you have savings or investments, how they're affected. Hey, Emma, good to see you. Um, you could also, uh, what else could you do? You could just get support, speak to friends. You probably want to, to talk to people who will lift you up rather than bring you down. You could do, um, an alternative plan if your business if your plan is to work exclusively abroad then you might think well okay maybe I need to develop some domestic markets so the idea is that you draw these circles and everything you're worried about goes in here and then the few things that you can influence about that situation so and it could be just even your own mindset and maybe it's about you know what I'm just not going to listen to the news for two weeks. I'm going to sit and meditate and feel positive and write a gratitude journal. If that's your thing, then maybe that is the stuff, the only stuff you can influence right now. The science behind this says that when you start focusing on the things that you can influence rather than all this mess that's outside of your control, you start feeling more positive. You start focusing on what you can do. And then typically you take more action on those. So if this is your circle of concern and this is your circle of influence, and it might be really tiny to start with, the theory goes that as you focus on those things and you think more about your circle of um, of influence, things you can influence, then your circle gets bigger. So you then spend more of your time and just think about how do you feel when you're thinking, obsessing about all of that compared to focusing on the few small quality things that you can do. So it's not to minimize people in, you know, this is, this is not a model to use with things like bereavement or huge life shocks, but it is something that if you find that your mind is getting in the way of your action, that it may well be worth just doing that. So I'm sure if you just Google it, Stephen Covey's Circle of Influence and Concern, you'll find something on the web of that. One more thing. One of the things that I, I have found really helpful um, to deal with all this change that's going on at the moment is to be really grateful for all the opportunities I have had and I do have. And hello, <laughs> there's Meg having a wee. Hello, Meg. You can see this is live. <laughs> 
Jen, send your cat over. That'll fall to out. <laughs> Never work with children and animals. So um, <laughs> I couldn't have planned that, could I? So, um, but there's a lot of uncertainty. And what I find really helps is focusing on abundance. Now, it can sound like a bit of a fluffy term. And you know me, I'm fairly straight talking. But I think there's a lot to be said for the old fashioned thing of counting your blessings, looking at what you have got and building on from where you are. And there's a great film that one of my clients has put together. Um, I'm so impressed. This is somebody I met maybe six or seven years ago at a Jeff Walker event. We've kept in touch. We've done a bit of work. And they have put together this amazing film, which they are a proper documentary film, which they are launching this week. Now, if you would, um, they are going to give away free copies of this. You can just download it. I don't know if you can download it or you can just stream it um, until the 30th of June. So if you would like to get away from the, the noise in your head and the stresses and strains and you just want to spend maybe an hour having some positive input then I really recommend this so I'll put a link in down below but it's it's all the W's the abundance code.com so that's the abundance codes.com and it's a beautiful documentary it's just very inspirational it's around how to you know when you feel like it's all gone wrong and you don't feel you have much hope and we've all have days like that how can you turn it around without it being too fluffy yeah I like it because it's got real people who've got real stories and there's just a few nice hints and tips so it's a great inspirational film it's going on general release this week and um, you can get a copy of it free for the opportunity to stream it in the next couple of days so it's up until I believe the 30th of June so it's go to the and um, I really hope you enjoy it and I'd love to hear what you think guys I'm going to sign up for now this is Helen Vandenberg of getclientsfast.net and I can't wait to hear what you think of the film take care bye